Hey guys, it's your boy, Ballface8020, back again with another great commentary. Really quick one tonight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, you always hear about stuff about testosterone, like you know, so like, you know, especially like in the manosphere, they're all guys are always talking about how to optimize their testosterone and accusing people of being low T or whatever. And, um, you know, it's kind of, we know that testosterone is, you know, a big part of what makes men, men, um, and, uh, you know, it's definitely important for muscle growth, stuff like that. Um, you know, me and then me, I got really low testosterone. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but I do. Um, it's, it's like really low again, like I've, I've said before, like basically it's like, like an average, like an 80 year old man. And, um, so I don't know if it's cause of my meds or just cause I'm so fat, probably not cause I'm so fat because everybody's fat. So I don't know that they, the, uh, but the meds don't help. And maybe like my body type is more sensitive to being fat. Um, I, I, I really don't know. Um, but, uh, there's this, like, I think two weeks ago it was that maybe it was a week. I, I, I don't remember. But it was this time that I could tell that probably for the first time in my life that I really had high testosterone. And I don't have any scientific data saying that suddenly like my testosterone got high, but um, something was going on. I, I don't know what it was. So basically what had happened was, you know, I had I was trying to get off my meds and, you know, for a week or even more than that, before I was trying to get off my meds, I had been... Um, eating lots of probiotic foods. So not only was I eating probiotic foods, but I had subbed out the commercial milk, which I drink a lot of, for um, locally produced raw milk. And commercial milk is known to, you know, dramatically increase estrogen and thereby, um, thereby uh, decrease testosterone. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not telling anybody to go out and buy raw milk uh, the thing is, whether it's raw or not, doesn't really have anything to do with it. The issue is whether it's commercial or local. Uh, local milk, they they just milk the cows normally. Commercial milk, they keep the cows pregnant all the time, so you're getting that like extra estrogen in in the milk or, or some shit like that. I don't know, or maybe it has something to do with the antibiotics. Whatever it is, it's it's been shown to raise estrogen, uh, which doesn't mean you have to stop drinking it because who who cares? It's it's you, and for most people, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Maybe I'm more sensitive to it than most people. Um, so basically you had kind of like, uh, three things going on at once. And plus, you know, I, I, I now my sleep apnea, which I've had for God knows how long is, is being properly treated. So you had the sleep apnea being treated. You had me being on the probiotic foods for a pretty long time and, um, me taking out the commercial milk and then finally me getting off my meds. And I would say that, you know, you know, before I really relapsed on day four, day two or three, there was just like this dramatic change where my, I, something must've happened that caused my testosterone to shoot up. And I, again, it's not a placebo because I wasn't expecting it to do anything. I've drank raw milk before. I've been off my meds before. I never had an experience like this, but like out of nowhere, my libido was like, like, I mean, way higher than it was like when I was 16 years old. And, um, you know, I won't go into any much more detail than that, but that's like, and, uh, so like I, that's like completely unusual. There's really like, I've got, I've never had an experience like that before. And then, um, you know, uh, also I was, um, I could tell like there were like changes in, um, my like musculature, like, uh, like my muscle, I wasn't doing anything different, but I, my muscles, like I could just tell were more like, I don't know. I was more vascular all of a sudden and I hadn't like lost any weight and it seemed like my muscles got, had gotten a little bit bigger too. And, um, then, uh, the, uh, now I did feel a lot more energy as well, but I don't think that necessarily means anything because I have had times where I can think of other times in the past where I've had more energy than usual. Plus me feeling more energy isn't really saying much. I never have any. And then, um, but like, I would say probably the most interesting thing wasn't so much the libido per se. It was how I was, the way I was looking at women, you know, I was seeing women and sometimes I wasn't even that attracted to them. And I would like, 
had this like instinctive, like, th- like this instinctive feeling, like I just wanted to go grab them by the hair and drag them back to my cave. And that's like not my personality at all. That's like, I, I've, I've never had feelings like that. And, um, I didn't, it, it, was, it didn't feel like it was me. It was just, that's not the way I'm used to thinking. Now I, I have a, like, I have a lot of, um, I would, I would never actually do anything like that. I wasn't, it was, I wasn't in the danger, but the difference is, is that now I was having the instinct to do something like that. And, um, uh, also I was like, found myself very anxious to fight, very anxious to get in fights with other guys. Like I was seeing guys and then I just saw myself instinctively thinking, you know, about fighting them. And that one doesn't necessarily mean that much because I've always liked to fight. And, um, the, uh, but, and it was, yeah, so I didn't necessarily make a huge deal about that either. Um, but, you know, at the same time, there were changes that you think that would have come up that didn't. Like, for instance, I didn't feel any more confident at all. In fact, I felt less confident. And um, I, I think it's because I naturally have a really jumpy personality. So, like, maybe the testosterone, like, kind of just triggers anxiety in me. And, um, or, or it could also be that low testosterone kind of produces a kind of apathy. And that apathy, you know, makes me calm, makes, you know, sort of kind of makes you more confident by default because you just don't get, you don't just don't give a shit. Um, so it could be that too. It could be either of those things. Um, but, uh, no, I noticed even in the way I was talking that my voice was, my voice was shakier. I was more like, I was just, I seemed like it was making me more jittery. Um, it was, I, I almost felt like I like just drank too much caffeine all the time. Um, yeah, so I mean, it was really, it was really interesting changes. Now it didn't last past day three. I didn't expect it to last, but I probably, the reason it probably stopped was because I had that like huge depressive relapse that I talked about in like a previous video or the video, I don't know, talked about it previously. And in one of the videos I had before, um, so yeah, and I, I know it's really, it was really weird. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. And, um, you know, it got me thinking that, um, you know, um, <laughs> about, uh, something that I read, uh, like a few, like a little while ago, I think it was like 10 years ago, somebody said that like having optimized testosterone levels turns you into the person that you were meant to be. It's just that that person, uh, you know, may turn out to just be a huge asshole. Now, I don't think that, I don't think, I don't think it made me a bad guy or anything. I, in fact, I feel like I was really basically the same guy. Um, but just maybe with some more, um, baser instincts, I don't know how to say it beyond that. Um, but I could see, you know, like some people out the thing is like, for all my faults, I really am just a nice guy. So I could see somebody who's like, not like really a nice guy, you know, maybe, um, you know, if their testosterone levels went up, it could have like really negative effects you know, and make that person like a, a, a more dangerous person or a dangerous person. Um, so I don't know, you know, it's just, just, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really know what to say about it, what to say about it. Um, on the other hand, I know that there are problems like, you know, I know that low testosterone can cause problems too, like depression. And that can all, I mean, not only does depression suck, but it can make, you know, it could theoretically make somebody more dangerous. Um, can certainly make him cranky if you know, I know that that can happen. Um, yeah, I mean, and then I guess I felt like a little bit more upbeat, but I, I don't, I don't attribute that to the testosterone because the thing is, I remember, you know, for a couple of weeks I was taking those TRT injections and I didn't notice any difference. I mean, I knew that I felt off, but I didn't feel any difference in terms of like libido or aggression or anything like that. Um, so yeah, just my experience with it. I'm not really sure what to make of it. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next.